New Moon in Paradise. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Just when I started recording, all the mist went away, so I had to hide under here my sun protection so I can leave my eyes open. Um, I just finished my yoga session, and as often as when I do yoga, I'm under the shower, I'm walking through nature, I'm close to the river, or to the ocean. Somehow this, I'm in more in the flow as well, all my thoughts and emotions. And, and I realize, oh, it's new moon today, new beginning. So I decided to do this impromptu video for you just sharing some thoughts and feelings I have and aha moments I had and gaining more clarity again. And just in advance, it may sound a little bit crazy rambling for you because these are like, I love to say, puzzle pieces of the whole picture. And yeah, new beginnings. So the moon is starting a new cycle today, but I want to remind you, and I got reminded and I pass it on to you, that in every second, in every millisecond, we have a chance for a new beginning. Because life is meant to be to go in cycles, in rhythms, and don't look back so much. Use the chance to, which is, which resides in every moment. In every moment, we have the chance to set a new impulse, to change directions, and I see so many people, and of course, whatever I'm saying, I went through myself, I went through with all my clients of uh, I've, throughout the last decades by now. I'm now in a state that I say, don't look back. Don't let your past determine your now and your future. Use the power of the now and use the power of cycles. There's not always a new moon. The moon goes through cycles. The day goes through cycles. We go through cycles in our bodies. It's all about cycles and motions and giving in into the motions and from time to time I love to drive down here from the hill I'm staying at uh, down to the ocean and is um, a beach with so many stones I recorded a small video yesterday because I was walking along and looking at the stones and again nature reminded me about diversity and so many stones and no one is 100% alike. Some seems to be very close, very similar, but there is something special in every stone, in every grain of sand, in everything and also inside of you. So let nature remind you that we are all divine beings and each and every one of us is so unique and I never could understood or I always felt sad when people are trying to 
make themselves alike like someone else, giving up their own personality, trying to adapt, instead of evolving our uniqueness and to this contributing to the whole. You know what I mean? And by the way, I think this should be taught at school. <laughs> How do I evolve, unfold, strengthen my uniqueness so I can be a great educator? Sometimes I don't know if these words exist in English. Uh, so that I can attribute, make my contribution to the whole. And see, this is what I'm doing here. Or what I'm being here. I've been here nearly three and a half weeks. Being so deeply connected with nature and recharging and gaining more clarity, being even more centered. And we are all in such a huge transition times. And these transition times, they hold such a big treasure for us. So we can elaborate. Is this really the life I want to live? What is truly valuable for me? What really counts? Which people I really can rely on? And all this, and this is also why I studied the beginning of this whole so-called crisis, this playlist here on my channel of um, the virus a divine intervention. Because I see it's like a catalyst a catalyst for a change and a change that is so much needed. And this new moon reminded me again, we always have the chance for new beginnings and using the power of the moment and being aware which kind of energies I'm offered. There's not always a right time for everything. And I think the new moon is such a beautiful impulse and I'm not into astrology and but there are very good explanations out there um, about the power or the power of the planets. Yes, but I see it more like a reflection of the whole and it doesn't matter what you need to um, become even more aware about the quality of a certain time, of a certain period in time. And um, I also love to look at the Mayan calendar. And but how would you say? As above, so below. So everything is a mirror of everything. Um, so either you are reading out of your hand, looking at astrology, uh, looking at the Schumann frequencies, the Mayan calendar. There are so many tools out there and to me it varies from time to time which one I feel um, attracted by. So also this is something very important. What is good for you right now may be a tool uh, a certain ritual you are doing, a certain routine, um, certain remedies you take. Um, allow yourself to be in the flow and always check up. Is this still good for me right now? Does this still suit me right now? And then have the courage to change. Because life is all about change. And as more as we hold on to certain structures, as more rigid we become, and as harder it's getting to adapt to the 
change that happens anyhow, right? <laughs> if you are flexible, you can go with the flow. A flexible tree or a flexible branch can't be broken so easily. So keep your mind and body and emotions flexible and don't hold on so tight. I feel strongly that all is well and I have it like an, an inner mantra because I know it from my heart and I realized it because it's some, do you know it, when sometimes things are so natural that you don't realize it, but when people are asking me certain things, I mean, oh, this is why and the other way. I talked with a man um, at, down at the beach and he's such a wise person. Just met him there, such a wise person. And he asked me, but how do you deal with all this, etc., etc.? And then he looked at me and said, you trained this before COVID, didn't you? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I went through a lot of extremes, ups and downs in my life. And I experienced a lot of, let's call them challenges. But no matter what happened, I don't know where it's coming from. No, I know it. It's from my heart to the, to the connection to my divine source. I know, and this is somehow like have it like a mantra. I know everything is always working out for me and all and everything. It's whatever is happening to me is always happening in my favor. This doesn't mean that I have to like it always. <laughs> Please don't confuse this. But I know it, that everything is always working out in my favor. And this helps me very much to go more and more with the flow of life, to give up more and more control and being ready for every new beginning and being open and receptive for the signs of the universe the big and the little lessons they are all so valuable and as more as we are allowing ourselves to step back from our daily routines and you don't have to go like me in a four-week retreat you can create these little islands in your daily life say these are my 15 20 minutes a day where I just go inward and reconnect to whom I truly am. Feel myself and then I can be open. I can hear it better. My inner voice, I can see better. The signs that the universe is presenting us all the time, all the solutions. All the solutions are always there. But often we are like blindfolded and can't see them. And we are often or sometimes mad at the universe or God or however you may call it. But with this new moon, I wish you that you can grasp this energy, this energy of there is always a new beginning and becoming more and more sensitive 
for the cycles of life. There's a timing, a time for everything, isn't it? Always. And don't try to force it. A mother who just conceived a baby, yeah, she's going through the rhythm of nine months. A farmer who is planting his seeds and his plants has to wait until he can harvest. And same is true for us. And when we try to put it to heart, we take power out of the process and creating weak outcomes. Anything more in my heart? Sure. So far for today. New moon, Thursday, 13th uh, of September 2020, from my wonderful sanctuary here in La Palma, up in the hills. And I send you all my love. And yeah, whatever I do, it's truly coming from the bottom of my heart. So may you all be well, blessed, happy and healthy. Thanks for listening again and see you next time. And the sun is coming out even more. Here we go. Quick changes are possible always.